is going on guys welcome to the video as you can see it's a beautiful spring day second day of spring actually just uh, walk into Starbucks to go get a delicious breakfast sandwich Ooh, it's kind of hot I want to take off my jacket maybe go for a dip ha. Thank you. appreciate it thank you Ah, so what we got for breakfast is a spinach, feta, and cage-free egg white breakfast wrap from Starbucks. 10 grams of fat, 33 carb, and 19 protein. Oh my gosh, it just is gonna be so delicious. That's what it looks like. Wow, that's the presentation value on this thing is just out of this world, dude. Oh, hot! Ooh. Pretty good. Also got myself a tea. Not too bad, dude. The macros for today, 65 fat, 275 carb, and 185 protein. Mmm, I just burned my tongue. Mmm, I just burned my tongue. So the weather is still pretty bad outside and I don't want to venture out into the wilderness to find food. So luckily our friends over at HelloFresh have sponsored the video so we can make ourselves a delicious and nutritious meal. Chef Max, see you soon. Here we go. Goodbye. Wow. So we are almost done. Just got to sprinkle on this cheese. Put a little lemon on there. How good does this look, guys? I cannot wait to eat this. Mmm. Mmm. These meals are so easy to cook. They come with all the ingredientes. You don't have to go to the store. You don't be like, oh my gosh, what ingredient? Oh my god, I forgot some ingredients. No, it comes with everything. It's all right here, dude. It's all right there, baby. Mmm, this is a good lemon. How good does this, I, I wanted the cheese to be on top so it looked nice, but I guess it doesn't really matter. No, let's just, let's just put it on there. Yep, yep, yep. All right, so the only thing left to do is sprinkle the parsley. Oh my gosh, we're so fancy. And then we got a little Parmesan cheese. Ooh. You know, although I don't cook very often, doing stuff like this is actually kind of exciting because you put it together, everything comes out pretty much perfect, and you're like, I am an awesome chef. Cooking is fun. One pan orzo italiano with chicken sausage. Dang, that is really good. If you remember the last time I made HelloFresh, the items were completely different. So the menu was always changing and I travel a lot. So it's nice that you can actually select your delivery date. It's just really convenient. The meals are really good. I literally feel like a chef. And if you're in one of those, uh, what are they called? Oh, relationships, then you can like make this and then your girlfriend will be like, oh my God, babe, you're so amazing. You know what, because you made such a great dish, I'm not gonna argue about dumb stuff for like a week. If you guys are interested in trying out HelloFresh and you would like $30 off your first week, use Max30 and click the link in the description. It's delicious. So it is about five o'clock. I'm getting a little hungry in my tummy. I was gonna get Chipotle, but then I was like, for day of eating videos, that's so boring. Even though I eat Chipotle every single day, I try to make these videos entertaining, so smash the thumbs up button. I figured instead, we go to this place called District Taco, which I've never eaten before, but I went online to the nutrition calculator. We were gonna get two tacos, carne asada, 18 grams of fat, 96 carb, 40 protons. Let's go, dude. And there it is. I've heard some good things about this place, but to be honest, I'm gonna directly compare it 
to Torchy's Tacos in Texas, which is delicious! All right, two tacos were about $6.50. The, the, the environment and like the way the tacos look are very much like Torchy's. We got steak and beans, and I put some salsa on there. Woo! Let's try this bad boy out. A hundred carbs for these two things. Mm. It's pretty good. That was the mild salsa. Let's go with the medium. Those are really good. These are really, really good. I don't know if they're better than Torchy's, but they are up there. Why have I not tried this place sooner? The macros on these tacos are probably very similar to what I get at Torchy's. The only thing is when I go there, we always get chips and queso, and that adds a whole lot of carbs and fat. I don't get like cheese and stuff. I'm not a big cheese guy. Like I'm pretty cheesy, but the only thing I really like cheese on is like a sandwich or a sub. I don't really get them on tacos. I don't get them on my Chipotle. I don't put like cheese. Oh, I'm not like, oh my God, cheese sauce, cheese whiz. I don't like cheese balls. I don't like cheese poos. I don't like Cheetos. So I realize I'm kind of stupid and I don't think I get rice in my tacos at Torchies. That's why the carbs were 96. You big fat idiot, Max. Ooh, remix. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. All right, so we are gonna make a Max special smoothie. I make one of these every single day. Usually it's in the morning, but tonight we're making it in the evening. First things first is two servings of fruit, so 280 grams. You can use whatever you'd like. We have some mangoes, peaches, strawberries. Next up, we take a Dannon Light and Fit Greek yogurt. Doesn't matter the flavor. I switch between vanilla and the strawberry banana. Um. We are gonna put two scoops of protein. Normally I use my blueberry protein, which is delicious, but this fruity cereal milk is actually also fantastic drinking alone and in the smoothies. We are gonna put a bunch of frozen spinach. This is for health and to get some more greens in. Just pack it in there, dude. Now the next thing we're gonna put in there is olive oil. So if you're ever low in your fats, Olive oil in your smoothies. Whoa, oh my God, gross, Max. Olive oil, ah. You're not gonna taste it, I promise you. And anyone that says they can is a liar. I've been doing this for a long time, trust me. Do not ever just take a shot of this. I pr it's the worst ever, don't, e don't ever do that. 16 ounces of agua. Oh my God. Then you put the lid on, you slap it on your blender. This is a Vitamix. You can add some ice cubes if you want it a little thicker, but. Yeah. There's no reason why all of you should not be making a frozen smoothie with protein and spinach every day. Ooh, I need to take my fish oil. Oh my, I literally just thought I saw someone. Multivitamin and fish oil because I forgot to take it this morning. Oh my gosh, Max, multivitamin. There's, it's proven not to do anything. Shut up. Ah. Oh. All right, so we are finishing out the macros with an enlightened pint of ice cream. 320 calories for this whole thing. Macros are on the screen. Look how amazingly accurate we were today. Now, obviously, you know, when we go to like the taco place, if they put a little bit more rice or a little bit more meat, like don't overstress getting exactly on the numbers because unless you ate prepackaged items, weighed out everything, ate every single grain of rice in your Chipotle bowl, it, it's not gonna be that big of a deal. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. I try to make day of eating videos maybe like once or twice a month. I used to do them every week, but I'm sure there's a ton of them that you have not seen. So go back and check them out, dude. Smash the thumbs up button. I hope you guys snagged a mango maga hita pre-workout. They might be sold out by the time you're seeing this video. Let's just uh, shoot to put this in the microwave. I'm probably gonna hop on Instagram live while I do this. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should, dude. Pretty good. See you later.